Hey, Arena. Hey. Hey, I know you got your wig event going, but don't forget about me. We got to, you know, get these Facebook reels going. We got to get paid. We got to get monetized. Hey, I ain't trying to hate on your stuff or whatnot, but you have to give me two hours each day for social media. I don't care what your friends got to say. What? Bye. You heard that? You got that? You got it? We keep it real. Time for Courtney and Eddie. Hey. Now let's push off. What's up, Coed Ken folks? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another video, Courtney Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely, beautiful, pretty, gorgeous wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. She almost forgot her name. No idea. I was just trying to see how you, when you were gonna cut it off and I would eat it up. So. Yeah, I can tell. You. Hey, yeah, this is Courtney Eddie. Uh, this channel is all about relationships. It's all about reviews. It's all about entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Love and love and Marriage DC. Love and Marriage in the DC. Love and Marriage DC slash Washington slash Maryland slash Virginia. All right. So, if you're brand new to this channel and subscribe, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, we didn't do one last week. We're just trying to still figure it out if we're gonna continue with it or we're gonna do one every other week. But we did watch the one from last week and stuff because it's just been slow. Yeah, I know that you know, just a, a little pinch of y'all watch it, so it's not even a handful, just a pinch that watch it, uh, or maybe a good amount of watch. I, I think I want to check the reviews on it and stuff. Um, but maybe people just don't come and watch with, hear what other people got to say, which I get it. Because it's not much of trying to get other people's opinion worthy, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. That you makes know? sense. It, it, it's, it's a good show to watch, and then just go on about your business. So it's nothing that leaves you like, oh my gosh, let me hear what other people yeah. got to say. And you're right. Like I said, I enjoy watching the show. You know, I enjoy the cast. The cast but uh, you're right. It don't leave you wanting more. You, it, it really don't leave you say, "Oh, I want to hear their opinion about it. I want to go hear their opinion about it," because it, it doesn't have that substance for you to hear different, yep. you know, opinions. Or what, yeah. We're not yeah. about it. And I think that's what the thing, the deal is with it. You know, I hope for Jamie's sake, they stay on TV because uh, uh, he needs to do reels and this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, I'm not sure. So. Uh, we get to that. Go ahead. All right. So anyway, um, it starts off with, like I said, we we we're picking up from last night. You know, well, this is um, this is like a two for one, two for a two for a two for a two for a two for. So um, so Ashley is coming in in the house, and she just let her family know that Quick is in the hospital. They decide to keep him, or they're gonna decide if they're gonna keep him because he has um, he's been having hiccups. That's what I like still be having hiccups, but not like his was going on. I think for days. Yeah. Um, and so it seems that there's an issue going on with his esophagus, and he has lost his voice and lost his appetite. Actually, it's not the esophagus. <laughs> that, that say a word three times real fast. It's not from the. Actually, it started with the hiccups. Then the doctor said something wrong with uh, with his esophagus, right? Mm -mm. Okay, that's wrong. His throat. <laughs> it's something wrong with his throat. And uh, <laughs> and uh, but turns out it it actually stems from the stomach. Oh, okay. That's what it says on uh, what says on the show. It stems from his from the stomach, and it just goes through his throat. Esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's dope, and uh, <laughs> and that's, that's his issues. That's his issue right now. Um, and so um, so you know the kids look sad and everything or whatever. But um, so let's move on to the next thing because we'll hear more about um a quick issue. So Arena and Jama in the sex tour shop. So they gave their friend. I think they said they was friends with the owner, so they kind of gave them a little plug and everything. And so, you know, they in there shopping, trying to do some, you know, a little different excitement. He was like, listen, don't go in there by the middle or nothing like that. And guess what she had in her hand? 
a vibrator, yeah. I didn't see yeah. But a vibrator did do a few different things. Are they? Uh, 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 well, let's change it. There are things that are called vibrators, but a deodor is the shape of a oh, man's. You know. There you go. I thought it, they called the same thing, you know. But what she had in her hand? It was I, long? Yeah, it was long and pink, like it was a dildo. Oh, it could have yeah. been. And so, anyway. um. And also, what's up with the color pink? Ain't no man you sleeping with has a pink thing. Oh, no. This, they come in colors. I now. know, man, but still, yeah, you know, black or brown. Anyway, he's trying to tell y'all what to do. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry. What? Why on. should you feel any kind of uh, way? I'm saying, why, why I gotta be pink? Oh, my brown skin is not good enough for you? Some people that watch this could be white. So you never, you said black or brown. Yeah, but, but, say, but yeah, but even though they ain't pink, I will hope not. <laughs> so, okay, um, even you are. <laughs> so anyway, as they were talking, you know, um, I think Jamie was talking to one of the owners, the male owner, and what he was saying. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what. Jamie mean, Jamie, like I, I can, I can understand Jamie. I can relate to Jamie. Jamie said, "Man, she be so busy so much, and we don't do it a lot because she be so busy. But when we do it, I will be so excited. I'm like, uh -huh, I'll be over." <laughs> Out of Jamie, hey, most men, that's what we go through. If you don't have it a lot, it's been a long time. When you finally get it, get excited. And sometimes you just like one, two, three, four, five, bam, it's over. So um, let's move on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they were also talking about the vibrating pandas and stuff like that or whatever when they was in that confessional. And so, you know, he was saying, you know, he never heard of it. He thought it was interesting or whatever. And so what I think she was saying, um, unless you're going to get them for you, he's like, now, why would I wear that? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. And, uh, are you done with this segment? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, the oh. sex, yeah. No, yeah, what, why they was in the store talking. Oh, you can go ahead and... No, that's when he said, and she confronted him about what he did at the party. Mm -hmm. She said, "Don't be bringing up my our social media stuff at my event. It's like you wanted this event to be about you, cause you saw it was all about me. It seemed like you got jealous, and you wanted to put it all on you because you talking about we need to do some more uh, Facebook reels and stuff. And and like like James said, I'm not jealous. Jealous for what? You know." Heck, man, you know, I I met you when you was a nobody. Ooh, Jamie. I, you know, some, I, sometimes I like you, but sometimes you go a little <laughs> too far. You know what I'm saying? And she said, what do you mean I was a nobody? I've always been somebody. And Jamie said, well, the bottom line is this. I'm not jealous. You know what I'm saying? If you make it, I make it. If I, if you fail, I fail. I'm supporting you. But let's go back home and do these, these reels and TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> Now, neither one of us knew we was going to break out this time. <laughs> but, yeah. And like I said before, I didn't know who Arena and um, Jamie was, but I did see them on TikTok one time before from some popular video. You know what I'm saying? I think they do get decent views even before they came on the show. So, you know, um, that's probably a good hit of their income, right. especially after he retired. Because right. Jamie's like, listen, this show don't pay us like that. That's right. And I think they do do not, even though some people think that when you own these reality shows, you get paid a lot of money. Some mm. of them do not. Yeah. A great po uh, portion of them do not. Unless you some kind of um, Atlanta housewife that has been vested for five, ten plus mm -hmm. years, and you really bring some to the show. Right. So, um, a lot of them don't get paid like that. You know, they may get paid a thousand dollars an episode. And I know that's hard to hear. They may get paid two thousand dollars an episode. Who knows? Um, but evidently Jamie is not banking on this Little show. Shit. Plus, like you said, Jamie he's retired, he's on a fixed income, and you know, he I like I said, I, I feel I understand, you know, you got your retirement check coming, but also you got this other stream of uh revenue coming in from your your social media. So, you know, he he's banking on that. In his head, he said, okay, this show is going on right now. It might not be around two or three more years, so this uh, social media stuff I'm doing, I can continue to do that for, to continue to do that for the next 10, 15 years and still yeah. have more money coming in. Yeah. So I want to be more invested on my social media uh, revenue than trying to basically do this show. 
Yeah, because you don't know when it is going to say rap because it's not, to me, it's not giving what they're trying to make Hunts forgive. Um, and so, you know, you see over there, Hunts got a, a, a great percentage of a crazy audience. And so, you know, you come over here and the audience is not crazy and you just like, ooh, I can relax and do this show. Right. And, um, but it's not giving what is, I think, to me, intended what it is to give. To me, actually, to me, to be honest, it's a better show than Hunts. I Field. think so. I think it's a, better like fit right. it's just it, it flows better right. it's just you know what i'm saying a good reality right. tv show it's just not getting the traction that it should in my yeah. opinion you know uh, it's not as toxic uh these people are basically regular people that's yeah. trying to make a living you know you look at quick you know they, they lifestyle is not as lavish as you know some people but He's, you know, he's working himself into an early grave because he's trying to keep up with that lifestyle, that, you know, that image he's trying to, trying to maintain. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and um, like, to me, you know, um, when these people get on these reality TV shows, of course, like Carlos said before I seen him on the interview, what he was just saying, hey, when you come on here, you get the opportunity to advance and open a business, or allow this audience to follow you to whatever you have. That's their create. payment, though. Yeah, that's their that, payment. That's part of their payment. That's you know, payment. so Arena has to do, in a sense, a wig launch or something to be able to um, capitalize off the brand of audience. You know, the audience and build a brand off of because that's basically what all of them do. If you follow the pattern, it's that's what all of them do. Yeah, but main line is advertise. I don't care. You go to. DC, Huntsville, they always advertise their products. Yeah. Excuse me. And that's what it's all about. You might not get paid like the Housewives of Atlanta or Meriton Medicine, but you get that the exposure yeah. for your for your your product or your business. Right. So that's the main thing they get paid for. Yeah, and I mean, and that's even like you said, Meriton Medicine. Look at Jackie. She got all different types of mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if some of them choose to do that, then they do it. If they not, if not, then they'll just get uh, the check. Okay, like the person who gets that check, uh, what's her name? Uh on Marriage Medicine, guy with the glasses. What's her name? The doctor. The Eugene. Eugene's wife. Toya. Toya. She really don't do nothing. She don't. She, Toya done tried to look book in Yeah. There. Well, she get she bang it on the shoulder. Yeah, she yeah. And so, you know, but yeah, if you want to capitalize, you can. But I think that that's Carlos brand. That's his push to say, hey, come on this show mm -hmm. and create something. And hey, you even got instant money like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, Arena wigs look nice to me. Yeah. You know, I'm just not a wear the wig all the time kind of girl, but I think that they're beautiful wigs. And so, you know, hey, you know, capitalize off of this. It just comes when we come on YouTube, capitalize off of that. I, always, I, I understand marketing and I always try to, you know, hey, let's do this, this, this and this. Because now you got an audience so you can reach audiences. You know what I'm saying? T-shirts, Patreon, all the different stuff that we have, you know, available. So anyway, yeah, good point. That, that's just the way. That's just the way it is. Um, so let's move on to Winner and her daughter. They just had a brief conversation. You know, Winner daughter is you know dating and she's twenty one. She's twenty one. Young girl, pump your brakes. Okay, talking about baby names and marriage husband. and husband. Come on, man, you still in school? Get that education first, cause that man might not be there in the future. Have something to fall back on, young lady. Okay, there's no rush, man. You know, I know you, you in love, you know, sit, or, or, or Big Mom, you say, sit your little fast tail down. <laughs> so, well, man, well, you chill out. You be all right. Um, it's also seen that um, Winter, you know, she started dating, and we got to see that on the previous show, and she was telling her daughter about how things were going. Now, let me say this. I, I like the fact that one is dating you know what i'm saying i do like this guy and stuff like that cute, cute little match for them mm -hmm. you can tell that one just she just kind of blushes in his presence you know but the fact of how the um whatever black and and i can't call that lady name, Shirella. Shirella. i can't i call Sherelle. so the the fact of how they set them up i did not like if somebody put me on the spot and say, okay, you know, da 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 da, and you know, so do you think he's attractive? Don't do that. Don't don't <laughs> set me up like that. And I'm trying to think, have I been set up like that? Because it it pushed me in an awkward place. Set. What if I didn't think he was attractive? You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I would have did or would have done if they put me in that position. Oh, look at them, at them two black and Shaquella. Looked at Her the woman. Her name is Sherelle. Oh, she, okay. Looked at Black Sherelle and looked at the woman. If I'm not attracted to her, you know what? 
Uh, well, I guess I time for me to hit the dusty trail. Uh, you got to walk out. Yeah, what? I got one left, man. It is what it is, man. Because you put people in a that's an awkward place to be. You know what it I'm put, saying? It puts it puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. And, and, and you know, all that pressure on you, like that. You know, you gotta you don't want to hurt this part person's feelings. feelings. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta 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 I don't think you should fake the funk. Yeah. yeah speak your speak your truth, you know? And it's all about, you know, initial attraction. You know what I'm saying? I know for men and women, it's all about the initial attraction. So anyway, um, mm. let's move on to where um they having a brunch. It's Arena, Jamie, Quick, and um Ashley. And basically they sit down and they um uh, talk about, you know, the um uh, <clears throat> quick situation and how he needs to slow down. Bruh, he really do need to slow down. He's too young to be in the hospital that many times. You know, you got to take care of your health, man. Yeah, you doing all this and doing all that, trying to, you know, maintain that lifestyle. But what if you fall dead the next day? What what happens to that lifestyle, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah, man, you got to take care of yourself, man. Because it seems like um, Asha has always been like a stay-at-home mom. She mm -hmm. probably had little things to do here and there, but it seemed like she always been a stay-at-home mom. So he probably fit um majority of you know the financial responsibility excuse me and then you know of course this show came into place and now she's promoting even more her book and all that stuff so she probably had that stuff going on but not like that so um anyway they also talk about how jamie was acting at the wig lunch honey and just calling arena out and just say what did he say uh uh you heard me yeah you heard me it's like he was talking to her like she was a five-year-old child and also I don't like quick. Quick, he hit it right on the head. When Jamie drinks, is he's a different person, man. He's more aggressive, like he wanted to fight. I was like, man, you know, some people when they get drunk, they go to sleep. <laughs> some people when they get drunk, they laugh and be silly. He's one of them violent drunks, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, he said, you know, quick, you wasn't there, man. You don't know, you don't know what I did, what I was talking about in the confession. Ain't no wrong with me. I ain't no drunk. That's <laughs> <laughs> <And> disrespectful. <laughs> Sounds just like a drunk too. <laughs> so, um, and anyway, he was um because the writer was just saying, you know, he up there talking, you know, woman doing on Facebook reels and stuff, and and um Jane was like, and she listened to the other lady because the other lady was like, ooh. Ash was like, I'm glad they, they couldn't be quick talking to me like that. And, you know, uh, I think her name, Alyssa mm -hmm. and all of them, they were just sitting up there saying, oh, let me go. Oh, yeah, what? Jamie kind of went off on them, too. Oh, he yeah. said, bye. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's none of y'all business, man. I'm talking to my wife. You know, you know uh, dang, Jamie. Yeah, well, he yeah. drunk Jamie, boy. And you get around DJ. And I'm not talking about DJ like, ch -ch. I'm talking about DJ calling. That's drunk Jamie, Jamie. yeah. <laughs> DJ don't be playing, man, when you get the alcohol in his, in his system, man. Um, Arena was just saying when the tab came, um, the lady said, ooh, give it to the Silvers because, you know, we up here can't afford stuff like that, child. We up there got to do Facebook reels and shuck and jive and TikTok and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, they so are, we on a fixed he, income. Yeah, you know, he's retired and, you know, we got, like you said, do the shuck and jive, man, for millions and millions of people. And, uh, well, you ain't got it like that. So in the next episode, uh, Ashley and Alyssa, they're going tree shopping. Um, because um Ashley said she never had a live tree either. Um so yeah, we'll never get one. And so anyway, so they talk. We'll see if I want one. I can't a live one. tree? No, man. Like, you know my you allergies. Know yeah, my allergies are already bad. Oh, they open them up. Yeah. Be laid. Yeah. Christmas one be laid on the tree all swollen up. <laughs> I told you she shouldn't got this live tree. <laughs> so anyway, so they're talking about, you know, the wig lunch and all that stuff, whatever. And um, you know, Jamie said me arranging to be on TikTok and stuff like that or whatever. So for Facebook reels, TikTok, they got them all. Yeah, y'all stay over there. Stay over, don't don't come on YouTube. Stay they over there. They probably got they probably over here stay, too. Stay I over there. bet you they over here. And so uh, cause let me tell you something, Jamie loves the camera. I believe Jamie loves the camera. Uh, he probably do. It, it don't matter. It doesn't matter if it's Jamie or DJ. They both <laughs> love the camera. <laughs> so they were talking about, you know, the situation with Joy and Joy not coming to Ashley's event uh, because Sherelle will be there. But it seemed like Joy was uh, going to come to uh, 
I think a rain is a bit, you know, and Sherelle was going to be there. So anyway, we'll get into that. But um, you can explain this there. A word yeah. went back to Ashley by Alicia, dad, uh, Carmen. Y'all know Carmen from Ready to Love, honey. They putting all the people on here. Um, Carmen had said, because I think Carmen is an event planner. She does something like that. Carmen had said, what, baby? Uh, that uh, Arena and Ashley, that's her name? Ashley is quick party. No, no, Ash, uh, Ashley and uh, Alyssa. Alyssa, yeah, her friend called them fake. This is what Joy said. Called them fake because they're still dealing with what's her name? Sherelle. And basically, Joy is saying Sherelle gonna be like that. Y'all should cut loose. Y'all should be around this woman. But since Ashley and her friend, what's her friend? Alyssa. Alyssa still hanging around Sherelle. They must be fake. And uh, man, Ashley said fake. How can I be fake? I'm a grown person. Basically, what Ashley was saying, Sherelle's going to be around, and you know, she's in the circle right there. You know what I'm saying? So she, she's not going to be unfriend somebody because she's friends with somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she said, basically, I'm a grown person. I can, friend who I, I can be friends who I want to be friends with. Right. And uh, so then uh, that's when uh, Ashley, that's her friend name. Not Ashley, uh, Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah, God, all the A's. Alyssa asked Ashley, so is Joy married? Cause she sure put on the hashtag uh the titles and what's uh, the petties. The petties. And uh and Ashley said, I don't know. I don't know if she married. She she could be married. No, nah, Ashley said, What makes you say that? Mm -hmm. And so she was just saying because of what they put out there, she said, mm. Well, she told me that they had already got married. Really? So, so yeah. Ashley says she knows that they, they married. Right oh yeah, you yeah, know that's why okay. they was talking. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she had went ahead and told her. Yeah, she said she been told me. Yeah, they had already got married. And so, so uh, what's the big secret for telling for not telling people they married? No, what, no, what's the big issue the, with that? To come on this show and have a wedding, so we can go ooh and ah. But if you already married, then yeah, the cat's out the bag yeah. now. You know. So, so. and Ashley told us because she was mad. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad. So anyway, so we're gonna uh, the next thing is a double date um with Black and Sherelle and um with cooking class and it's winner and the new guy's name. Um, Usa. 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 Oh yeah. Usa. And um and so anyway, um he brings us some white flowers, you know, um, because that is her favorite color, like the white of flowers. I don't know if it's no, white roses, no, white flowers. She likes white because it's white like snow. And snow falls what? In the winter time. That's what she said. Nah, I'm just okay. Stuff together. Okay, that's a cute little assessment. So um she thanked him for it and everything. And um as they were sitting there, we're doing the cooking class and all this stuff. As they were sitting <laughs> down with Sherelle and Black, um, you know, and winter and what's his name? Usa, right? Usa. U Usa. So um, you know, he was just thanking them for the connection that, you know, was made. Now, like I said, you know blind dates and stuff like that it don't always it don't always work out but there's a small percentage that it could work out so you know he would say thanking them for the connection and you know for them hooking them up because you know i never had any good luck with blind dates not one you know yeah. i said man be mad at your friend man what the heck you thinking about know. man you know i don't date women like that yeah got 10 kids and five baby dads so, you had a blind date for you yeah, a couple of blind dates. Man, like a mug. Really? Yeah, I was mad. I know she probably feel like I was taking out on her. I go, no, no, you and my friend, a punk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I ever had a blind date because, I mean, I'm just not going to do that. But I did when I was 13, you know what I'm saying? It, you can't say it was no date because I was just 13. But, you know, uh, a friend, my my friend cousin was like girl yeah he want to talk to you because we did talk on the phone right and then i ain't gonna say what he looked like when we were walking down the street because we was over her house and she said there you go i'm not gonna say what i thought what he really looked like but he was so unattractive and i was like what in the heck did you think that like like how was that even uh, gonna come yeah, about see i would be mad at your friend uh your cousin I said, you you think that you think that right. about me? You think that little of me to think I was like to date somebody like right. that? Right. Uh, I, I mean, I think he was an I do, but he was so not attractive. Yeah, some people, I guess, they see you as being lonely. They expect you to just take anything. 
guess. And you know, so when they hook you up with somebody, oh, she'd be all right, yeah, you know, but she she seems like she's desperate right now, so she'll date this guy. I was know. 13, so I could care less about being desperate, yeah. anything like that. So, yeah. I just know we talked on the phone. And See. then first, mm-hmm. for a long time, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, back then, you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have none of that stuff. Right. You just had to wait till you actually see the person in person. Nowadays, we, these people go on blind dates, especially the women. They might not like the guy. The guy might not be attractive to the, to them. Uh, they might not be as, you know, into the guy. Mm-hmm. But they would still stay on that date to get their free food. And dip out and get their phone number changed. <laughs> now get their phone yeah, number. Yeah, man. Or get it block you or yeah, something. Now you get blocked, Chad. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's a different conversation. So anyway, so let's move on to Joy and a- Ashley and Lorena. They doing the spin class. And so um, you know, Joy said she got some happy weight. And then I can attest to that. But yeah. what's happy weight? How do you gain gain happy weight? Oh, that's just old weight, right? <laughs> that's old yeah, weight. Ha- happy weight is just when you just in a you in a relationship and you got married and you just excited, you happy. Like no, no it, let me let me let me be honest, be very transparent. When me and Eddie met, you know, well before we met, I was into exercise. I had a for a brief moment a little fitness class for a brief moment, Jab. But when they didn't want coming, the eye was okay. Old. When they weren't coming, I said, This ain't for me more so. I can do right. this on my own, this for y'all. So mm-hmm. anyway, um, so I was in there, I had my own little t shirt, my own little t shirt crew. It was called Squat Squad and all that stuff. So, you know, it's like I had motivated other people to exercise and get into it. And so in turn, I really and truly started focusing on my body and not really mm. dating and stuff like that. So I used to go to a uh, park all the time. I was exercising one or two hours a day. I was just into it. But um, when I met him, I got out of it. Because my time was just, hey, you coming over here? Coming over here? No, no. So we spent a lot of time together, and I just forsake exercising as much. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I got them. So that's that's the key. That's what I'm about to say. Happy weight is when women, before they get married or get in a relationship, they exercise and getting their body right to attract the guy. After they get the guy. They say, "Ooh, my job's done." <laughs> so they, they, they gain weight. That's what that's that's what it's all about. But some that's, but, that's that's it. But some women don't be exercising. You know what I'm saying? But I I don't understand necessarily the happy weight because even before that, I wasn't exercising before I became single. So it wasn't like well, I was into I got that. Like that. But the point is, when you're single, you still pay a little bit more attention to, to your, your body. body. You know that's what I'm true. saying? So after you get the man. And so I got out now. I ain't even do nothing. All of a sudden, two years go by. Who did I marry? <laughs> Who that big blob on the couch? <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happens, man. Well, I don't want to hear all about, ooh, I'm just happy. No, you get the man. You relax on your, on your body. You don't pay attention to your body like you used to. And you can't wait. So, anyway, um, so, yeah. So, after we gave y'all that scenario. Men do it, too. Men I do it, too. I know, baby. Because I was working out, posting pictures. Ooh, ooh. After I got her, ooh, delete, delete them pictures. <laughs> I ain't used to relax. So, yeah, man, I, man, man, we do it, too. We yeah. get it. So, um, Joy was just saying, you know, because Ashley said she's going to confront Joy about the situation. Joy was just saying, <laughs> you know, she hate that she missed a rain of launch. I don't know. Her, she said her and Clifton had something going on. You can't say something. You, you pointed this out while I was watching the show. Joy do not like filming. Mm-mm. She would find any excuse not to film. It seems mm-hmm. like you know she she does the Rihanna. No, so what's the Rihanna? <laughs> the, the bare minimum. Okay, that's what she does. She might be in this scene and, and that know, scene. We know Rihanna pregnant. We yeah, know, that's why I was saying. We didn't know it at that time. Yeah, because people said, "Why is she going back to the Super Bowl halftime? Why Rihanna ain't dancing like the other dancers? Why she ain't popping her like it?" She just rocking back and forth. She just doing the bare minimum. That's why I said do the Rihanna. And uh, find out she was pregnant. And I kind of knew she was pregnant because she was showing her stomach and stuff. Bro, her stomach. I said, yeah, she pregnant. Because she was going before that. You said Joy just don't like. So, yeah, we yeah, figured yeah. out Joy just don't, don't seem like she like filming. You know what I'm saying? She didn't come to a rainer's thing. She said something about her clipped her stomach. I don't know. Whatever they had to run to the restroom. Um, So, I don't know if this coming on this show she just took it or, or clipped and say, hey, let's come on here. I really don't think, 
like Joy had said, she like she didn't used to like camera, but she like them now. But we think it's to take pictures, not right. really to film. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Because she don't want a big wedding. Right. She don't want a big. She she Joy really don't like the limelight. The limelight, that unnecessary limelight. Now she likes to get up there on on the stage and sing and do a performance. Yeah, she she enjoys doing that. But as for, as for for filming and being on this show, it's like. She's like really feeling it, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like every little thing they want her to film, she comes up, she comes up with some kind of excuse not to film. Yeah, she's going out out of the country or they're sick or yeah. something. Yeah, um, and so yeah, that's what we seem like. She don't want the confrontation. She don't want, especially she don't want to be around Sherelle and Black, you know. And that's the excuse that she's using right now. But she sat down and had a whole conversation with Sharia, you know what I'm saying? Right. And Sharia got a whole bunch of smoke for Arena. Yeah, and not Joy. I don't understand. And Joy, the <laughs> Joy started all of this back in the day, talking about Sherelle husband, but she would come. Guns, guns blazing yeah. at, at, at Arena, but don't say nothing to Joy. Yeah. Even when they were sitting down in the episode prior, they sitting down at the little thing they had uh, actually had with the you know to give her the sign. People, right. call. you know, <clears throat> Sherelle was gunning for uh, Arena, and when Joy said something, she didn't say nothing to Joy. Mm-hmm. She like she kind of like <laughs> took her tail between her legs and yeah, yeah okay, okay, but Arena. She turned to a beast mode. Yeah. And see, <clears throat> Joy even let her know that she was only repeating, just changed the word. But she said, but what she said is what basically I said. Yeah, and Sherelle still didn't do anything. Didn't do nothing. Still she, didn't do anything. She, she, won't, she think that Raina messy, knows and all that stuff. But Raina just playing the game of this show. And I don't think that Raina miss. I, I, to me personally, think that she just be trying to be peaceful. I like Raina. But maybe it's just my bias. But anyway. <clears throat> I like Jamie. Heck, I like DJ. I mean, I do. I like the rest of the cast. You yeah. know, Winter growing on me now that she can come out of that vein of whatever she was doing before. Now she got her man now. And now she can be more yeah. into a relationship and maybe I can start, you know, getting back in that yeah. way of feeling uh, her. Like I said, I, I prefer this show over Huntsville. That I do. Me. I do. Um, so, um, and Huntsville got its own slew of stupid stuff that they oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and that. I'm not talking uh, about it, but I'm just saying it's the stupidity of it all. I haven't seen, I know this is their second season of, of DC, but uh, I hadn't seen no stupid stuff. You know, I know they may go back and forth on Twitter about stuff, but come on. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah. No, we ain't gonna go So, there. um, anyway, um, <clears throat> so Ashley was just basically telling, um, um, Joy, so you didn't want to come to my Christmas party because you said Sherelle was going to be there, but she was going to come to her wig lunch knowing that Sherelle was going to be there. And Joy, however she coined it, she was like, yeah, but your Christmas party is not a close set. Joy. Joy, I mean, uh, Arena's thing is in a not-so-close set, and uh, I ain't got to mingle with her. She said, girl, you know how big my house is. You could be in the back, upstairs, all around. You ain't got to mingle with her. Joy, was, she was reaching. I'm talking about she was doing Mr. Fantastic Plaster Man reaching. Mm-hmm. She's reaching for excuses not to show up to that yep. actual event, man. Because over, over, uh, she's the excuse she gave was over a building size, the size of yeah. a building, the size of the event center. Right. Come on, man. And then, but you know that Ashley said, I mean, uh, Joy said she wasn't really feeling Ashley no more because she feel like that Ashley feel like that she the head be in charge. That's the, I think that's the main issue. Yeah, I do too. I think that's and the main I issue. And I think that's just Ashley personality. I don't think that she mean no harm. I just think that's her personality. Now, y'all may know, but uh, I don't. I can't remember. So I think from what I gather, Ashley and Joy were friends first. And then here comes Arena being friends with Joy, but Clifton and Jamie been knew each other. So it's almost like Arena and um, Joy are friends, smaller of default. And Alyssa kind of alluded to that and said, so you come on the show and be best friends with somebody who, da, 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 friends with a husband, da, 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 something like that or whatever. Uh, yeah. Speaking of a petty moment, when she said, I got a petty moment because I know y'all last name is petty. To me, that was petty mm-hmm. because she what she's trying to insinuate is that y'all married. You took his last name, uh, but yeah, she said I had a petty moment. I told uh, uh, Alyssa that you know, yeah, y'all married. 
and Joel looking all crazy. And, uh, she said, huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> how it rained to do her face. I ain't seen it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, huh? Yeah, so that's how it basically went off. And then uh, she said, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how it, how it went off. So, you know, now we all know that Joy and Clifton are really married. <laughs> It makes sense it, it to me. It makes sense because yeah. they're buying that house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just totally makes more sense Yeah, it now, makes sense. You yeah. know? That they live together, if right. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I don't know what the big secret is. I don't understand why she's trying to keep it a secret, man. What's the, like you said, you know, what she's trying to, you know, get married on the show? What's the deal? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Well, on that note, you guys, that's it. That's all we got. We will see you guys on the next video. This ep- this season probably going to be 10 seasons, 10 episodes like it was last season, probably. So, it probably going off soon. So, see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I always put God first. Deuces. Hey! I always put God first.